Venturing into the abyssal depths of the ocean, submarines encounter an unforgiving world of darkness and crushing pressures. The term, crush depth, marks the critical point at which a submarine structure can no longer withstand these colossal pressures. Beyond this limit, an alarming fate awaits, a catastrophic implosion. The recent tragedy of the Titan submersible exposes the harsh reality of reaching crush depth. Deep-sea submarines are engineered marvels, built to resist tremendous pressures. However, the enormity of the ocean's pressure is not to be underestimated. With each descent of 33 feet, pressure increases by one atmosphere. The Titanic wreck, situated about 12,400 feet below sea level, experiences a pressure of around 375 atmospheres. Submarines need to be fortified with durable materials, and be of a shape that can withstand crushing forces from every direction. Nonetheless, there is a breaking point, known as the crush depth, beyond which the pressure overpowers the structural integrity of the submarine. The events surrounding the Titan submersible serve as a grim reminder of what happens upon reaching crush depth. All five individuals on board the Titan lost their lives in a catastrophic implosion. The immense pressures at such depths caused the submersible to collapse within milliseconds. The velocity and severity of the implosion left no time for human perception, ensuring an immediate, albeit devastating, end for the crew. This instantaneous collapse affords no chance of survival or recovery of the remains. The aftermath of a catastrophic implosion involves the submersible shattering into numerous fragments, creating an extensive debris field at the ocean floor. In the case of the Titan, pieces of the pressure hull and nose cone were among the major sections discovered. Material choice in a submersible's construction plays a significant role in its ability to withstand crush depth. The Titan, for instance, was built from a combination of titanium and carbon fiber composites. The interplay between these materials under extreme pressures is believed to have contributed to the loss of structural integrity that led to the implosion. Events like the implosion of the Titan emphasized the significance of meticulous engineering, exhaustive preparation, and thorough risk assessment in the design and operation of deep-sea submersibles. These instances bring to the forefront the challenges posed by the colossal pressures of the deep ocean, and the catastrophic consequences of structural failure under these conditions. By understanding such events, it becomes possible to enhance safety protocols, push the frontiers of material sciences, and fine-tune designs for future deep-sea explorations. Moreover, this heart-wrenching incident underscores the dire need for comprehensive regulations governing deep-sea submersibles, especially as they venture into international waters, where regulation is often sparse. The future of submarine technology hinges on our ability to learn from these incidents and instigate the necessary alterations to preclude similar tragedies.